Concomitant with the conceptual challenges that result uh, from special relativity, uh, like for instance, time acts differently and length acts differently, we also get these beautiful effects, like now we can fit Buicks inside closets, where clearly the Buick wouldn't fit if it's not moving. If the Buick's going relatively fast, get it? Relatively fast? Relativistically fast, perhaps I should say then it can fit into a closet. So I'll get you this Buick. It's one of these station wagons from the 90s, and it's like, whoa. So here's, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the end of the hood. And then it just keeps going back here. There's a lot of Buick back there, too, and it's just going to keep going. And maybe there's a wheel somewhere in here. And then uh, a little bit more car, and then there's more car. It's a station wagon, so it's not going to end for a long time back there. And you probably got some windows in the Buick. Uh, but... The result is that although this Buick, which keeps going that direction, is seven meters long, we'll be able to get it inside of this closet right here, even though the closet itself, let's say, is only two meters deep. So, uh, oh, sorry, turn the closet this direction. The Buick's going that direction, and the question is, how fast is that Buick going? Probably going to present it as a fraction of the speed of light, and the Buick will fit into the closet, if only for a short moment, but this is real. The Buick actually does, in fact, fit in the closet for a short moment, and if you were really fast, don't talk to me about relativistically fast, but if you were really fast, you could close the doors, and the, bu the Buick would not yet have hit the back of the two meter deep closet, because the Buick is in fact shorter as seen by the people who are standing near the closet watching the Buick fit in the closet. It actually does. We can talk about why later, but right now you need to trust me that this is real. We've got an equation, and our equation says that L, this is the apparent length of the Buick as seen by someone who is not moving, rel sorry, who's stationary relative to the closet. They're watching the Buick zoom into the closet. This is the apparent length, and it's L naught. Remember, L naught is the, well, <clears throat> we're going to call L naught the proper length of it. And the proper length of the Buick is the length that you would measure if you were still relative to the Buick, and that's seven meters. Because you go up to a Buick and you're like, dang, that is a Buick. So then we need to divide by gamma. And remember, gamma is this thing that talks about how relativistic stuff is. And it is in between one and infinity. And the more relativistic your velocity is, the bigger your gamma is. So let's see what we need gamma to be. So we need gamma to be L naught over L, which is seven halves. We just need to get a seven halves gamma to fit this Buick in that closet. No problem. We'll do a little bit of algebra and say that seven halves is gamma. I'm not going to plug in numbers yet. Okay, so we got gamma and gamma is one over one minus beta square, uh, and it's all screwed in the denominator. And I need to solve for beta because remember, beta is the ratio of the speed of the object to the speed of light. So if I can just present the speed as V equals beta times C, if I know beta, then I'll be able to say what fraction of the speed of light we're talking about. That's gonna be lovely. So I'll take this equation right here. I will probably square both sides and maybe multiply by the denominator or something. You think what I'm thinking? I'll probably get gamma square times one minus beta square is equal to one. And then maybe I should divide by gamma. Mm, yeah, let's sure, let's do that. One minus beta square equals one over gamma square. Sorry, divide by gamma square. And then uh, <clears throat> what do you want to do? You want to subtract one from both sides and then multiply by negative one. So I'll get beta square equals, oh dang, I'm going to get one minus one over gamma square. Gosh, I hope I'm right about that. And then, uh, well, what do I have to do? Just screw both sides. Beta is the screw of one minus one over gamma square. And I know that gamma is supposed to be seven halves. So I'll plug that in right here. Ooh, look at the symmetry. Isn't that beautiful math, the way that symmetry worked out? So I'll take my calculator and I'll go, oh, my batteries are low. Oh, no. And I'll do one minus, I hope it doesn't fail on me now, one, uh-oh, one over, wait a second, this is seven halves and I'm supposed to take one over it? I'm just gonna do uh, two sevenths. I'm gonna do two sevenths and then, oh, I'm supposed to square two sevenths, so I'll put some parentheses around here. Two sevenths square, and then what do I do, hit enter? Oh, oh, okay, so beta is supposed to be 0 0.958.
That means that, well, that's uh, the speed divided by the speed of light, so I can say the speed is 958, 0.958 times the speed of light. So if you're going 96% of the speed of light in a Buick, that Buick will fit into a closet that is two-sevenths as long as the Buick is. Now, here's the issue though. The Buick doesn't get any narrower this direction. It is exactly as wide. So it's like a scrunched up Buick. The Buick, let me see if I could draw that, that Buick in that case. It would be like wheel and hood and the end of the station wagon and wheel, yeah, the wheels are supposed to be the same size. So now the Buick looks like a Mini. We have a Buick to Mini machine. Cool. Sorry, I couldn't resist this. Relativity is such a pisser. Here's the thing, the guy in the Buick knows the Buick is seven meters long, right? Because he's at rest relative to the Buick and he can take out a meter stick while he's zooming along as seen by the closet. But really, he's taking out a meter stick in a stationary Buick. That's what the Buick is doing if you're in it, right? Wear your seatbelts, kids. And he perceives the closet not as its natural length, not as its proper length, but he sees the closet modified by the speed at which the closet is rushing towards him. So he said the closet is only 57 centimeters deep and he's like, I got a seven meter long Buick, I'm not gonna fit in a 57 centimeter deep closet. So he never thinks it fits. At the same time, someone outside of the Buick watching will see the Buick fit in the closet, but the guy in the Buick knows it never did. Who's right? Both of them. Sorry. Ha 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 ha.